What's up, Nakamas? It's the middle of the morning on Friday. We're going to Target. <laughs> We're looking to catch a Pokemon. It's a 10 inch Pokemon, so hopefully we find it there. I think all the Targets in my area have 10 in stock, literally just 10. So let's go see if we can find that Charmander. All right, y'all, made it to Target. There seems to be one person out there, but I don't know if they're here for the Funko Pops. Outside of that, there's really nobody here, so I'm gonna eat me some breakfast. And here we go, you guys. Done deal. 10 inch Charmander, baby. Looking good. And of course, we also have some pretty cool American history pops. Uncle Sam right over here. That looks awesome, actually. I wouldn't mind picking them up maybe later. Abraham Lincoln. I really like these. <laughs> And we have, well, that's actually it yeah, right there. So we're heading to another Target right now since they didn't have the Marvel 80 Years Patina Pops at the Target we were at. We're going to another one. At the other Target, they told me that they were going to be at least another hour until they take them out. So I was like, I'm not going to stand here waiting. I want to look at those Patina Pops and yeah, just <laughs> see how they are. <laughs> so let's go to another Target. All right, so we're at the other Target, you guys, and this one is brand spanking new, so it's looking fresh, okay? Let's go see if they have those Patina Marvel Pops. We'll be right back. All right, you guys, so here we have more well, for of. Target's exclusives. Yeah, kind of. They still don't have the Patinas out yet. We have the Little Mermaid Kiss the Girl one, which that looks pretty amazing. I gotta be honest, that looks really cool, actually. We have Washington Crossing the Delaware. That is pretty awesome also. Um, man, I'm considering getting that. That's pretty sick. That's great pop right there. And we have more of the Charmanders right here. We're back, Nakamas. All right, so to be honest, I wasn't expecting to get this many stuff at Target, but <laughs> today was that day where you just, I had to go ahead and go a little bit all out when it comes to buying Funko Pops. But I'm gonna show you guys what I got, and I'm really excited because I did pick up some stuff, like I mentioned, that I wasn't expecting. But let's go ahead and get started with something actually that a friend of mine, I actually met up with him at Target, and he gave me a Funko Pop that I was definitely wanting and that I couldn't get online at the time that it was released. And that is Wong from <laughs> SDCC this year. Of course, this was a Walgreens exclusive and it was something that I didn't maybe try to get. Maybe that's why I actually didn't manage to get it. And I'm put this bag down because it's so big. But regardless, I'm really happy that I have Wong in my collection. I really like him as a character, especially in Endgame. I think he did an amazing job. The actor did an amazing job. Actually, not Endgame, Infinity War. <laughs> he had more screen time on that one, right? But he is such a good character. Happy to have him on the collection. By the way, I didn't want to mention he does have that official SDCC sticker from the convention. So I think that is pretty darn cool. And I think that goes for all, it pretty much if you did buy him through Walgreens online, you actually do get him with that sticker right there. I think that's what my friend told me. So that's actually pretty darn cool to have right there. Now getting him out of the box, of course he is a bobblehead because he is a marble pop, but it does look pretty cool. I love how he's using his magic right there and his whole outfit looks amazing. But that is Wong, pretty simple and to the point, right? And I think he looks great as a Funko Pop. They did a good job actually transforming him from his character to a Funko Pop. Next up, let's go ahead and talk about the Marvel 80th anniversary Patina Funko Pop. Now there were three in total, and I'm gonna go step by step here, okay, on these three. So, oh, let's just start with my favorite one. <laughs> so we do have here Spider-Man, and I love the box that they used for these 80 years of marbles, uh, pretty much an anniversary in a sense, right? By the way, the box definitely looks amazing. It does have that only at Target sticker right there, but you can see the side of the box, and then the back, I love the amazing Spider-Man logo that they use. I think that does give it an extra little touch, you know, and 
being a collector and being a fan of Spider-Man, you're definitely gonna like that in the back right there. And then he had the other side right there, but that's pretty much it. We're gonna get them all out of the box, but real quick, let's go ahead and talk about the other ones. We also did manage to get Captain America, and I am a big fan of Cap. Honestly, if somebody were to ask me who is your top favorite Marvel superhero, I think it's gonna be Captain America, and I just love who he is as a character and who he is as a superhero. But there, we have Captain America. Same thing on the box, and then look at that logo in the back, the original Captain America logo from the comics. That also, like I mentioned, that just gives it an extra little touch, and I think a fan is definitely gonna appreciate that. So Funko, good job on that. And the box looks great. It has a silver lining, by the way, all around the box. It's like a silver outline that just kind of covers the whole Funko Pop. I don't know if you guys can tell if I move it like that right there. And it's also in the front, but that just gives it an extra little touch. So good on you, Funko. Now, last but not least, we have the man himself, Logan, or AKA Wolverine. So yes, X1, right? But we have the original Wolverine. And that's another thing I did want to mention. We'll talk a little bit more when I once I get them out of the box. But these are, in a way, the original Funko Pops that they did for these specific characters. And I think that's pretty darn cool. So we have that classic body also. But then look at that logo. I wanted to talk about that. The original Wolverine logo from the X-Men. I mean, that looks pretty amazing right there. Again, I think these pops are really good, especially for Mar oh, marble collectors. Y'all are gonna be all over these. I just know that for sure. And yes, they're patina, you know, there's not much to them, but I like them overall. And I'm definitely gonna like having them in my collection at the moment. But let's go ahead and get them all out of the box so we can take a closer look at them. All right, you guys, so here we have the three <laughs> marble 80 year anniversary Funko Pops that they decided to do this year. All of these are Target exclusive, by the way, so keep that in mind. You can buy them online as well, but to start us off, now we're gonna go ahead and start with the Wolverine. So, pretty amazing Funko Pop right there. You, it's Like I said, it's patina, you know, there's not a lot, the coloring is kind of weird, and it says they kind of use like a bronze slash green, they just throw like a, a spat of green <laughs> here and there, but I don't mind it. I think it looks pretty cool. There is some areas when you look at the actual pop where the color doesn't look that good, and it looks like they just, uh, maybe they could have done a better work, right? Maybe, well, I'll say this much. I think maybe this is better than Chrome. <laughs> I think we're all tired of Chrome. Something else besides Chrome oh, is definitely gonna <laughs> catch our attention overall. And we also have the first Avenger, Captain America. Now, do remember, these are all bobbleheads, but they do have that classic, classic Funko Pop body right there. And you gotta appreciate that, you know, Funko goes back to its root from, roots from time to time, and that's definitely a cool thing. But of course, I mostly collect, if there is a Marvel character that I collect overall, it's gonna be Spider-Man. I do have the original Avenger Captain America Funko Pop, which that one's going up for over $100 right now, which is crazy. But Spider-Man, I wanna say, is probably one of my top favorite right there when it comes to Marvel characters. So yeah, <laughs> pretty simple. <laughs> We've seen Spider-Man Funko Pops, dozens of times and there's more being released back to back we just got a new wave of walgreen exclusive spider-man pop so yeah there we have the 80 year anniversary um spider-man funko pop patina style so yeah pretty cool and like i said pretty simple overall but now we gotta talk about the star of the show you guys and he's gonna take up all the space right now so let's get ready for that see what i tell you <laughs> He took up the whole table. It's our reason for going Target Con pop hunting today, let's call it that, right? Is because we wanted to get this humongous 10 inch Charmander Pokemon pop. Oh my God, take a look at that. Now I do want to say this, I do not collect a lot of the 10 inch Funko Pops. Look at that, it looks like a turntable with my fingers. <laughs> but anyways, I do want to mention, this is actually my second 10 inch Funko Pop. I do not like to collect a lot of 10 inch Pops. And I do want to mention the only 10 inch Pops I have currently at the moment are Pokemon Pops. Pikachu is the other one. And now <laughs> is this little Charmander. See, I even thought about getting the Bulbasaur, but the box was so big, it looked a lot much bigger, in my opinion, than all the other 10 inches. I was like, ah, th that space. And I still even got to have to think about the Charmander, but I wanted it. I'm a big fan of Pokemon. If you guys have seen my previous videos, y'all know that I definitely love Pokemon, so I had to have 
this Charmander box. But of course, we have to get him out of the box, so go. let's go ahead and get him out. This is, oh my god. These 10 inch pops, I'm telling you guys, look at this. It's huge. <laughs> so, okay, let's get him out, put this box to the side, and I want you guys to get the full experience here of me unboxing this 10 inch Charmander. Oh my god, I'm having trouble now. There we go, there we go. Oh, come on. All right, boom. So let's put that to the side. Oh my God. Whoa, he is heavy. Definitely heavier than Pikachu. Whoa, his head is huge. Oh my God. All right, take a look at that, y'all. Bam, so we have Charmander in all his glory. So looks really, really good. His head swivels all the way. So that's good news right there. And not only that, look at the back of the pop right there. I love the little flame on his tail. It looks great, amazing detail. And at the same time, pretty simple, you know, not that much to it. The big bulging Funko eyes right there looks really nice. But yeah, I I'm really happy to have Charmander in my collection. Now this 10 inch one is definitely gonna be one to add to the collection. And I have to think about where in the world am I gonna put this 10 inch Charmander? What a haul, right? I do wanna say this, y'all. If y'all wanna start collecting some of these 10 inch pops, um, I've mentioned it before, but I think the best idea is definitely to keep them out of the box. And it's just because look how much space this box takes. I mean, it doesn't even fit very well on bookshelves. It'll take a whole shelf by itself. You can probably fit, if you try, maybe three of these 10 inch pops in a bookshelf like these. And this bookshelf, I got it from Walmart. so. You know, they're pretty cheap, they're not that expensive, but they definitely take a lot of space regardless. Well, I've still yet to find space for my 10 inch pops. Now, I'm really happy I got the Charmander, extremely happy I got the Pikachu. The Pikachu, I wanted it no matter what, and I love that I have him overall, but now I have to find the space for these guys because, oh my God, we're gonna run out of space pretty soon here. Anyways, that's gonna do it for us today, Nakamas. Let me know what you think down in the comment section of my Target Con haul. We already lost count what Target Con number this is, really. I feel like this is a fourth or fifth one <laughs> that they're releasing pops all in one day. And I did wanna mention, though, I did manage to get the Metallic 2-pack of the Green Giant and Sprout. I didn't get, unfortunately, the Bullseye, Flock Bullseye, but I'm not too worried about that. They're always, you're gonna see people either selling them on Mercari or eBay or trading them for something else, so I'm not too worried. And there's always restocks. Target does a pretty good job with restocks regardless, so I'm not worried about getting that Bullseye. I'll feel I'll have it in my collection eventually. Also, let me know down in the comment section what you guys managed to get. Did y'all go for the 10 inch Charmander? Also, I did know that there is the Little Mermaid movie moment. I forgot the name of it, it doesn't come to me. And there is also Washington, I believe, crossing the Delaware. That uh, American history moment, that's pretty amazing pop. I actually thought about getting that one. I might go and pick it up maybe later on, but we'll see because that one does take space as well. But regardless, do not forget, you guys, we are doing our giveaway still, and we're so close. We already crossed 630 subscribers. That's incredible, you guys. In a matter of a week, less than a week, I want to say. So that is so amazing. Thank y'all. Let's keep going. 650 Nakamas is the goal so that we can give away the Red Chrome <laughs> Vegeta from SDCC and the Dark Magician Hot Topic exclusive. So don't forget that giveaway is going on right now, you guys. Check the link down in the description, but do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share these videos so that we can go ahead and reach that goal of 650 Nakamas very, very fast here. Besides that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, Nakamas. Bye.